Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today I've got Weedy Guitar Studios Jackson Guitar Neck back on the counter again. I got everything sanded. Now all I have to do is measure Weedy's nuts. What? All right, so what I have going on over here right now is I have Weedy's nut locked into place, clamped into place. I have an eraser on the bottom of it to protect the fretboard from the clamp itself. The erasers help out with a lot of stuff. They're nice and uh, they're soft, they're spongy and uh, uh, flexible. So you can kind of, it helps out with trying to get into weird angles and stuff using a pencil eraser. Just Now, I've already measured what the fret height is on this. So I have a 24, a 0 24, and a 0 25, which is a 0 0.049 thousandths. I've already measured at the first fret, just putting a level on the first two frets. So it fits in there kind of snug, you know, not really loose and not really tight. It doesn't move the rocker at all. So I'm going to add a 20 thousandths to that. Now what I'm going to do is take the dull end of a fret file not the cutting side but the dull end and what i'm going to do is stick this under the high e string and i want to feel if i'm hitting yes i'm hitting the nut so if i go on this side I'll get that over there yeah so that's telling me that this nut here is higher than uh, just 20 thousands so I want a 20 thousands nut okay on this thing here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer which I already have my shape and the angle here and now I need to cut this out now I'm not going to take you guys up into the garage and um, you know do a whole tutorial on cutting a nut because you've already seen me do this several times what I am going to do is I'm going to take my happy ass upstairs and go ahead and do this myself so I will be right back few moments later all right so I've got the nut shape to the size and the shape that I need I tell you man that dust fucking stinks for bone material so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in there and I got a little bit overhang on one side if I even the two up you still feel it yeah I still feel it so what I want to do is get rid of that little overhang and I'm just gonna use some sandpaper to make sure that the surface over here is flat I did get some glue on the, the counter right over here so I still have to clean that up a little bit and what I want to do is kind of take down a little bit on one side Actually, I want to bring it a little bit on an angle since the other side is on an angle. And let's go ahead and see where I'm at with this. A little bit more. Some hard shit, man. So I gotta check this with this, and my high side is on this side. And that's getting there, not quite yet, but it's getting there. some more let's see here 
here. There you go. Now it's nice and even on both sides. Now I'm going to have to glue that nut into place. And the reason why is because, well, I'm going to need to be able to uh, work on that nut until I get it just right and then I can go ahead and paint. Alright, so right now I am working on getting the shape on the top of the nut. The original nut has kind of a curve going on before the strings come out, so I'm mimicking that curve into the new nut. Now, I'm probably using the wrong files to do this, but I'm comfortable with the files that I'm using. Uh, it just seemed to like it a lot better. Now, what I end up doing is I'll take my finger and I'll hang it over the edge of the file like this. And I use my finger as a guide as I'm curving the top of the nut so I don't dig the file into the headstock of the guitar and it keeps I have some control over how I'm doing this now I am getting a little bit of a dirt mark over here from my finger in the wood now before I spray this I'm going to lightly wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol I mean really really light Hopefully it will remove any finger oils or anything that's inside the wood. This way when I spray it, um, it's going to be a nice clean shot. So I'm not going to bore you with the whole filing of this, you know, fast forwarding the video. I'm basically going to continue doing what I'm doing here, following the arch of the nut and also creating a round edge on the side of the nut by the headstock. So I'm not going to bore you with watching this. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to stop the camera and finish this on my own. All right. Stay tuned. One eternity later. All right, so now that I have the nut filed to where I want it to be, it's time to kind of polish it a little bit. So what I did is I did some 220 and some 600 grit sandpaper and kind of polished it a little bit, getting some of the file marks out of it. Next thing I want to transfer over the, basically transfer over all of the uh, notches from the original nut to the new nut. And how I want to do this is pretty simple. Basically I'm going to line the two up either this way or this way, probably this way, It'd be a lot easier. Make my marks, measure them with the uh, caliper to make sure that I have even spacing all the way through. If not, I can easily just sand off the pen mark and start over again.
up with each one of those notches. Time to start cutting. All right, so I'm getting started over here. I installed one of the tuning keys in its place, and I've already got the nut started. So I want this to go towards the angle of the key and angle down towards the neck a little bit or the headstock. So what I've got going on here is I got my shims over here for what I need. And just to make sure, I got a 20, 24, and a 25. And that's what I need for what I'm looking for as far as my angle goes or my height goes to get a 20 thousandths. So I'm going to go ahead and start the process here. And he's going to be using 10s on here, so I'm using the file set for 10s. I still have quite a way to go here before I can get where I want it to be. I'm trying to hold this neck down so the neck won't be jumping around. I wonder if my, I wonder if I can use this on this neck. Yeah, that'll be a lot better, a lot easier. That'll be a lot easier to work with. All right, so I got my shims in place, got my nut file. All right, before you ask what the hell am I looking at here, um, I'm going to explain a little bit about what I was doing with the nut on this thing. Right now everything's all masked off because paint time. But I'm going to explain this a little bit. So what I ended up doing is I opened up a package of 10s. For each nut slot for the string, I took that string and put it inside the nut slot so I could see how much of that string was sticking up out of the nut. Also to check to see how free the string was from binding inside of the nut. Even though I'm not stretching and putting pressure on it, I can still kind of feel going back and forth with each string to see if that, uh, that nut was going to work out good. And then I shaved down the top of the nut so I have half of the strings exposed and uh, the other half are sitting inside of the nut the way they're supposed to be. So yeah, I am ready for paint. And yes, I did put a piece of masking tape going across the uh, behind the tuning peg holes because I don't want no overspray to get on the back of the neck. And I don't want no overspray to get on the rest of the neck itself or the headstock and the neck, vice versa. Right, right, okay. So yeah, so now I'm ready for paint. I ended up uh, giving it a quick scuff before masking. The whole neck has been sanded down, so I'm gonna end up spraying the clear over the whole neck and headstock when it gets here. And then I'm going to uh, lightly sand with probably 1500 grit or 2000 grit the whole back of the neck. So it'll feel just as smooth as it was before. And uh, yeah. Once the paint dries for the headstock, uh, I will be scraping, unmasking everything, scraping the binding, and uh, putting the decal on. Well, I'll have to sand the headstock, the flat black, a little bit with probably some 600 grit sandpaper. So when I spray the clear, the clear has something to adhere to. That's it for now. And next video will be me painting. I'm tired. I don't want to do it right now. Sorry. Take care, all.